Mouse was an indoor-outdoor cat who belonged to a man who eventually moved away and left him behind. Mouse had a lot of freedom in his life and was known to be a lap cat who was very friendly and affectionate. He was brought to a small rescue who didn't have much space for him, so he was kept in a kennel in a room along with a dog for several weeks and that was stressful for him. Out of extreme frustration by his confinement, he began acting out. We took Mouse in, though he was still in a heightened state of stress. Even though Mouse was given a much bigger space here, he was still extremely frightened and stressed. He expressed his frustration through hissing, growling, spitting, swatting, and lunging at people who got near him. So what happens when you expect too much too soon with a cat that is already extremely stressed? I knew Mouse loved these treat tubes called Churu. I tried to have Mouse eat the treat tube through the opening of the crate. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. That proved to be too much too soon. Mouse looked like he wanted to be pet, so I reached in to try to pet him. It's okay, it's okay. Too fast, okay, too fast, I'm sorry. I know, I'm sorry. But again, that was too much too soon. I needed to take a step back and analyze, how can I set him up for success? Instead of requiring Mouse to come out of his hiding place to get the churu treat, feed the treat through the crate slats. Good job. Nice job, buddy. If it's safe to do so, you can also use your finger in order to have some physical contact. Good job. You can feed treats through the slats. And also engage in play through the slats, enabling Mouse to interact with you in a way that he feels safe and comfortable. Just trying to get you adopted, honey. Okay. Oh, he's a good boy. Since Mouse was very averse to hands-on petting, I used a plush toy instead. First, just presenting the toy so he was able to sniff it and explore it on his own, and then using it more actively to pet his head and cheeks. Yes, he is a nice boy. Oh my gosh, he's a nice boy. Hi. Yeah. I know, I see you. Nice boy. Nice boy, mouse. Oh my gosh. So what does an approximately 20 minute socialization session from beginning to end with mouse exactly look like? Please note that mouse is still a bit nervous at times and working on his confidence with me. With behavior, it's never a straight line. When I first walk in, I gently let mouse know that I'm entering his space. I keep him covered for a bit and just talk to him quietly. I uncover him very slightly and just reinforce him with treats. I am rewarding him for allowing me in his presence. Oh, nice I gently toss the treats to him, knowing he does not like hands near his face. Good boy. Nice job, buddy. Next, I take the soft end of a wand toy and allow Mouse to explore nice it and job, see if he'd like to be pet with it. I immediately reinforce that positive interaction with a treat. Good job. Oh. If I feel he is ready, I will uncover him a little bit more and immediately reinforce with treats. Because Mouse does not like hands near his body or face, I use the end of the toy to push the treats closer to him so he can have easier access. Good job. Nice job. Next, I try to engage Mouse in playing with nice some of his job, favorite buddy. toys. Yes. Nice job. Oh my gosh. You like that toy? Lastly, I will try to engage Mouse in more indirect contact using a plush toy he really loves. He 
He's a nice boy. Mouse, mouse. Oh my gosh. When Mouse bites the toy, oh I gosh, reinforce that behavior verbally and with a treat. Oh Cats gosh. like to bite into things, so instead of trying to extinguish that behavior, we need to redirect it onto more appropriate things, like toys. Yeah, that's a good boy. That's an appropriate thing to bite. Yes. Yes, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. You want a treat? Good boy. Nice job. Nice job, buddy. Oh, yes, that's okay. It's okay. Yes, it's okay. That's the right thing to grab and bite. Yes, he's a good boy. Notice okay. Mouse's reaction and face when I don't reprimand him for doing something that's completely natural to him, like swatting and biting. He is calm, neutral, and comfortable, and even purring. Imagine if someone yelled at him and told him no. Okay, we'll end on a good note. We'll end on a good note. Yes. Good boy. Always end the session on a good note and provide a surplus of reinforcements. For Mouse, it's a pile of treats that he can eat while covered up. I'm going to give you a bunch of treat treats, okay? Treat treats? Yes, treat treats. Okay, bud. You did a really nice job, honey. You did a really nice job. Good boy. Good boy. Sometimes we need to think outside of the box. Instead of asking or even demanding a cat change for us, we need to change for them. Remember, you are there by choice and they are not. They have been forced into this very stressful and frustrating situation and we need to do our best to alter their environment and ourselves to set them up for success. Thank you so much for watching and of course, for caring about cats.